Hi everyone, as Vasa mentioned, this is a uh, another uh, item in the series for extending a co-pilot for Microsoft uh, 365. If this is the first time you've heard about extending Copilot for Microsoft 365, we do have previous recordings um, for sessions that we uh, we have to introduce you to just the options that are available uh, to you to extend Copilot, uh, and also a session that I previously did, uh, which introduced uh, extending Copilot with uh, plugins. Now today uh, you can uh, sorry. Today, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, specifically a, a sample uh, a plugin uh, that has been created and is available to you. And this is a product support message, message extension plugin. So this message extension plugin can be used in Microsoft Teams across desktop, web and mobile, and also Microsoft Outlook in desktop and web. And this message extension enables uh, your users to search for product information held in a SharePoint online list uh, by the product name and then share that information in a, a message in Teams or in an email. And this message extension uses uh, delegate authentication. So it's everything, all the data is being accessed as the current user as well. And that's via Microsoft Graph to get at that data in SharePoint. So you have to be authenticated. You have to have access to that data to actually uh, return that and, and view it. Now, this plugin can also be used by Copilot. And Copilot can use this plugin to access this data in real time and use uh, the information that's returned in its responses. And not only that, um, it also provides a surface where end users can act on those responses as well. So where we're referencing um, data in an external system, we can show a, a user interface to allow them to then make the next step, might be editing information or, you know, uh, just anything that, that you want. It's a surface there that, that you can extend. So I'm going to have a quick run over the plugin architecture. There's quite a lot going on here. Um, now, the way that the plugin is deployed, it's deployed using a Teams app package. And when that app package is deployed, it's going to be available for the, the three different clients to be able to use this message extension plugin. So that's Teams, Copilot, and Outlook as well. And that client is going to send messages to a bot service when users interact with uh, with message extension. So you know, uh, starting a search. And the messages are going to be relayed from the bot service via a dev tunnel to a locally running web service. Now, I need this dev tunnel in between because my web service is running locally on my machine. So I need to expose uh, this web service uh, over the, the internet because the bot service is running in the cloud. It needs to be able to have that, uh, that level of, of access. Now, this web service then is able to call, um, uh, make requests to Microsoft Graph uh, to get information from that SharePoint online list. Now, there's an authentication uh, side of things in here as well. So um, what actually happens is the first time someone uses this message extension, we need to authenticate this user. We need to know who they are, make sure that we can call uh, Microsoft Graph on their behalf. Uh, and the way that that works is that we use a token service uh, that's made available to us um, by the bot framework service. And this is an intermediary that actually uh, helps us um, obtain access tokens uh, from Microsoft uh, from Microsoft Graph uh, to then be able to to use those tokens in in our web service. And I'll go through this as we jump into the code, uh, which we are going to do next. So that slides over. We're going to head it into uh, Visual Studio. So here I have my uh, message extension uh, project. So this is a project that has been scaffolded using Teams Toolkit for Visual Studio. And um, so it's uh, using .NET written in, in C Sharp. And in here, we've got a number of folders. Um, first, let's take a look at the app package. So this is the manifest file, which describes our, our message extension. So we can see in here that we have the, the name, we have description. Uh, this is very important in, in, in terms of Copilot, because Copilot is going to look at this description to try and decide, OK, from the prompt that has been entered, is there a plugin out there that I can use to uh, to, to get information or you know 
or add uh, information to uh, to to my responses and reasoning. In here, uh, we have a compose extensions array, and this defines our 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 search element of our message extension. So we have one command, which is just a query command uh, called products, um, and this command has two parameters. It has product name and it has target audience as well. Now, the first parameter will uh, product name will only show in Teams and and Outlook. Um, because they don't support uh, multiple uh, parameters, but Copilot does. So there's an extra parameter here for target audience that we're going to use Copilot to um, uh, to basically send um, search queries uh, through. OK, so that is our app package, uh, sorry, our app manifest. Um, let's just uh, take a look through some of the infrastructure as well. So Teams Toolkit is really good at being able to get started very fast. It gives us automation to be able to deploy a lot, well, pretty much everything that was shown on the, uh, on the architecture diagram. And it uses a number of manifest files and bicep files. So we have our uh, manifest uh, files for our um, Microsoft Entra app registration. So we have one for the bot here, and we also have one for Microsoft Graph as well. And we can see that for Microsoft Graph, the scopes that we want to use are just sites read, write, dot all, because we just want to read and update items in that, uh, in that SharePoint uh, list. Uh, and we also have a bot registration as well. So we have a bicep file, which is actually going to provision the bot service for us, and it's going to actually configure the bot service as well. So we have a, a, a bot service that is going to be created and then configured with two channels. There's going to be a Microsoft Teams channel and a Microsoft 365 extensions channel and a connection as well. So this is the connection that's going to be used to obtain our access token from Microsoft Graph. And we have in here the, the scopes that this connection can, can actually uh, use. Um, the next thing I want to show you is the dev tunnel. So in um, Visual Studio, we have the ability to create uh, dev tools. I've already created one here, and this is already configured um, for my running message extension uh, so that any messages that are relayed from the bot service uh, to my to my web service, to my web service endpoint, it's going to come through that, uh, that dev tool. And just to show you where the endpoint is, uh, we have an API controller here, so API messages. This is my um, messaging endpoint that's going to receive messages from uh, the bot service. When that message is received, it's processed by our bot logic. And I'll get to that in a second. First of all, let's uh, jump into the Azure portal and just show you the, the bot service uh, configuration. So here I have my, my bot service, which is configured. Here's my messaging endpoint. So this is what I just uh, showed you earlier with the, the dev tunnels URL. Um, we can see the configured uh, channels and channels from a, a bot service perspective is um, these are the applications that are, are able to send messages to this bot service. So we have one specific Microsoft Teams. We have Microsoft 365, which um, basically makes um, message extensions in Outlook and Copilot uh, plugins uh, work with the with the bot service. If I go to configuration, we can see again, we've got the messaging endpoint in here. Uh, we have uh, a Microsoft uh, Entra app registration here. So this uh, ID is basically the, the bot identity um, where uh, the uh, client ID and client secret is, is created. And we use that uh, credential in our, in our bot uh, to basically authenticate with, with bot service. Now, what we've got here is we've got a Microsoft Graph connection. So this is what I showed in the, in the bicep file. I just want to quickly open this up and just show you that it's referencing a, a another app registration where we have the, the Microsoft Graph uh, scopes set. Um, and we can see that we've got the, uh, the, the scope here as well. Now, this is important. This sample uses SharePoint. It uses um, Microsoft uh, Graph. Um, now, 
you can actually use this uh, this bot um, token service to work with any number of different identity providers as well. So you see there's a huge list here. And um, so if you're looking to connect to different services, um, you're not using SharePoint online, you want to use something else, then you can use this approach as well. It's just a case of configuring the, uh, the connection setting. OK, right. Let's jump into uh, Teams and just show you what this means from a user perspective. So if I open my message extension here, um, it automatically does a search for me and straight away my message extension has gone, ah, you need to sign in. So it, it returns a response that, that has a sign in link. And I can click this sign in link and it can get a token from uh, uh, for Microsoft Graph, it stores that in the token service. And then anytime I come back to this message extension, if it needs to refresh the token, it will do that behind the scenes for me. I don't have to, I don't actually have to handle that. And it's gone and got the information um, from SharePoint and it's rendered it as, as a list of results. And we can see how that works in Microsoft 365 chat as well. I have my plugin here. Um, I'm just going to grab the previous message that I put in, bit of a uh, sneaky view into what's actually going to happen here. Um, but I'm going to send this prompt through and um, Copilot is going to use my message extension, but it's going to get the challenge to say, hey, I need you to actually authenticate. Just let that go for a second. We'll cut that away from the video yeah. editing. So. <laughs> That's fine. So it said that it couldn't find information, but it's actually found a plugin, right? It's gone, hey, do you want to sign into Contoso products? Because this one might be able to help you. Do you. Click the sign in button. It's going to work in the same way as it does it in the Teams ex, ex, uh, sorry, in the Teams experience. So it said, yep, yeah, you're now signed in. I can send the prompt through again, but this time it's uh, it's going to get me some uh, information, um, but it's going to be you know getting that token for Microsoft uh, Graph. It's going to be getting that data from SharePoint. It's going to create a uh, a number of results, and it's going to return that to Copilot. In in which case, uh, it will be able to show in the responses. Yeah, it's found some information, and there we have. It's got some uh, information about products, call volumes, uh, the dates. It's going a little bit slow. There we go. And we've got the uh, adaptive card here um, that then you know I can view information and I can edit as well. So if I just click edit, we'll get an inline form. OK, so how does this all work? I mentioned about the adapter and it it processes these messages that are coming backwards and forwards between um, the client, uh, the bot service and, and our web service. If I go to, uh, where are we in the bot folder? If we go to Teams message extension, this is where all of the bot, uh, the message extension logic uh, is contained. So in here, we have a class that inherits from a Teams activity handler class. And this gives us methods uh, to be able to uh, basically react to some of these events. Now, the main um, method is this on Teams message extension query async uh, method. Now, this runs every time there's a search. OK, uh, and it passes in the, um, the information about, you know, what the user searched for and in Copilot's uh, case, what it passed to the, the message extension um, uh, based on the, the prompt that it, it was given. So we can see the first two lines is we, we actually create a, uh, a client to the token service and then we call a method to just get a token. I just expand this. Um, we get a magic code back from the bot service, um, which we can pass into this get user token async method to say, hey, token service, do you have a, a token already for this connection, which would be Microsoft Graph? Um, if you do, return it to me, or you know, if it's expired, go refresh it, bring me back another one. If not, though, um, we're going to check for, for that. So we hit our next check is, do we actually have a token? 
if we don't, we're going to send back a authentication response. So in here, we actually send a message extension response with a type of auth, and this contains a sign-in link. And, and that sign-in link was the, the when we saw it in Teams, it actually said sign in. So the user um, clicks that, then goes through the authentication uh, flow uh, to, uh, to, to uh, for the token service to get a, a, a token. So the next time we do a search, we get a token back because there's already a token cached in, in the service. Then we can start to uh, we can start to run through the logic uh, of our our message extension. So the way that we can get some information from what the user has passed in is uh, we can use a, a method here called get query data, which basically looks in this uh, parameters array for um, the value um, of let's say product name in Teams the text box is just the product uh, name uh, parameter. So that's going to return as uh, the, the value that's passed in. Um, from uh, the Copilot perspective, if you noticed, I actually didn't say anything about a product name. I actually said, uh, was the, uh, uh, sorry, get me the, uh, the products that are aimed at individuals. And what Copilot can do is it can, it can pass in a value into a parameter called target um, audience, which is actually a retail uh, category. I'm going to show you in the app package how it it, it works. So in the uh, in the app manifest, we have a description here that says audience is the product. Uh, sorry audience that the product is aimed at. Consumer products are sold to individuals, enterprise products are sold to businesses. Now this is important because I didn't actually say, you know, consumer. I didn't say enterprise, but I did say individuals. So Copilot can work out that actually by saying individuals, you're, you're meaning consumer products. So the value that comes through is actually uh, as a retail category, either consumer or enterprise, because my description kind of guides Copilot. Say here are the the uh, the, the valid um, uh, values that that I want you to to pass in. Now going further, the rest of the code in here is pretty much constructing an API call. Um, so I create a query filter in here. Uh, we create a graph client. We get data from SharePoint. Uh, we pass the the query to um, uh, to to the graph SDK to get the items back. And then what we do is we render a, a, a our search results as um, a, a, an array of attachments. So we iterate over each of these items. Um, we go and actually get, go and get um, more information because each product has a an image as well. So we use the, the graph API, we use the thumbnails API to uh, go and get a, an image that we can display in, in the card. And we create uh, two um, at two different cards. We create the result card, so the one that is kind of fully fledged with actions uh, and the whole picture, and also a preview card as well, which is used in the uh, in the search results. We combine them together into an attachment and then add them into an attachment array, which we return as the message extension response. So that's how we get the, the, the list of uh, results with the little image when I click on it, and it it goes into the email or the message message area. Then we get the full um, adaptive card as well. So that is in a nutshell how this works. There is more. There's the, there's action buttons on the uh, on the cards as well that are implemented. Uh, but for time, I'm going to jump back to uh, my my slide. Oh, I could back to my slides. Yeah, so this is a sample that you can access um, via the sample solution gallery. Uh, the link is kind of hidden there for some reason, but it's aka.ms slash community slash samples. If you select the Copilot for Microsoft 365 filter, you'll see uh, n a number of other samples for graph connectors and plugins as well. Go check it out. And if you want to learn any more about extending Copilot for M365, uh, go to the link on the screen and you'll find all the information. Mm -hmm.